What's up YouTube? I am doing my first drive on 10.8 that I am putting up. Uh, this is the CVS test loop that uh, I've done since uh, I believe 10.5. So we'll see what we have in 10.8. Okay, so it was a good uh, navigation around that uh, parked van. It's staying to the right, which is nice. I also feel like it's not like zooming uh, in this neighborhood. It's uh, has in the past done this like really hard acceleration, which has been really uncomfortable, especially considering we're uh, in a neighborhood. It did roll that stop sign, but it did like slow down and stop pretty much at the line, which is an improvement. Um, I do think it's kind of programmed to stop at these uh, crosswalks as opposed to a line. Oh my god! Not sure what that was. And we're in the the lane. We were clear. It needs to get left immediately. And it is doing that a little bit better in terms of at least making that in one motion. But I am a little confused as to what the uh, <laughs> what the plan was there. We'll have to check the planner. I'll go ahead and give you guys the, the full screen uh, planner. We know where it's going. We don't really have a way to reroute on the navigation plan that we're doing so I'll just leave it there for the rest of the video this is sort of a complex uh, decision in terms of when to go left um, there's a hill here and we are not running the yellow I'm sure the person behind me is a little upset about that <laughs> I'll go ahead and fast forward through the red we have the left turn light okay it's doing that thing where it's asking me to touch the wheel during the turn uh, a lot of people might have been saying that that is really dumb I agree with them because we're gonna disengage if I do any like I don't know how much torque I need to apply when the wheel is already applying its own torque thankfully it uh, didn't count as a, a strikeout I still have no strikeouts which is quite nice but we'll say the turn was smooth how do you feel about the turn yeah. It was a lot better. I would even say it was smooth for the yeah. first time. Okay, there's no one behind us, so I'll uh, keep it at the speed limit. Typically, this road is a 40 to a 45, despite it being a 35 mile per hour uh, speed limit. Okay, we're getting a little phantom braking still. I'm going to go ahead and do a snapshot for that. still applying really hard brakes for this which that turn used to be great so that's a regression uh, one thing I really wish that we had as testers was a, a way to like send propositions or you know just normative uh, behavior to Tesla to show like how that turn is happening now versus how it was happening before and you know what we would expect uh, as a human driver um, we don't have that right now and so I'm really curious uh, you know how these snapshots are really helping uh, anyone in the long run I am gonna go ahead and uh, disengage for potholes um, I've snapshotted that pothole a million times so I'm not gonna do that on this drive but yeah it'd be really nice if uh, we had a way to communicate to Tesla that was not, you know, an email that's going to get sent into a, an ocean um, and, you know, a way for us to, like, send pull requests or something in terms of this is the trajectory that, you know, I believe would be great. Okay, I'm going to bump it up to 40. We are phantom braking here again for no reason. I'm wondering if it's that traffic light. It is green, so I'm not sure why it would slow down. Need to check the planner later. This 
So we're coming up on Marietta Boulevard. This is uh, that like large intersection that uh, it was having trouble going through before. Let's see how it does going straight on this one. Wasn't bad. I did feel a little bit of a like a, a little bit of a left turn test, but uh, I mean that was great. Yeah. Let's see if we can make it into uh, CVS. So I think it, this is a map data error where it's trying to turn onto the road where the light is. Not the parking. And you can see it's like trying different ah. probabilities. So I'm gonna go here and just disengage. Uh, looks like that is that. Um, we're gonna also go to Publix and then do the the trip back from Publix like we did last time. So we'll do that in a minute, in a, in a second. All right, and we're back. Uh, it is pretty busy here, so I'm gonna be really careful here. Uh, this is the exact test that we did last time. It did okay for this stop sign, although we are now blocking this side, but it didn't recognize these stop signs. Actually, it looks like I'm a little bit, I'm, I'm one row over from where I was the last time, but it does recognize this one. It's stopping at it and it still does not recognize this one. I think it actually was stopping there. It did seem to maybe like it was stopping at the crosswalk. I'm gonna override the accelerator here just because we did have room there. It's an odd acceleration. Mm -hmm. I thought it was you. I think I would have been freaking out if I had thought it was... Exactly, yeah. Okay, I'm still really, really in intrigued to see if we uh, make it here. Make it here, if we uh, get across. It seems like the, the car has a lot of visibility in terms of uh, what that intersection looks like, uh, but it still doesn't exactly see the other side yet. Uh, we can, but I mean, we don't see the lanes on the other side. We, we kind of guess. Uh, I'm hoping that you'll, you'll be able to see more on the 360 cam, but uh, basically it's just really the right side of the road is where we know that you know the lane is. Okay, I like that it's starting uh, much earlier than it usually does. Let's see if it makes it. No, completely wrong direction. It was gonna go that way. Um, obviously I can check the planner later to see uh, where it thought it was gonna go, but we're still going the wrong direction on that, on that turn. Um, see, it was a disengagement, so I'm not gonna hit the snapshot button, but I really hope Tesla can, can fix that, especially since, you know, I've sent, I've sent that data in before. Okay, let's see how it handles this. It should not use a right turn blinker. It should just continue straight. And it did, nice. Nope, nope, there's the blinker. Ah. <laughs> I want to point out we're having light phantom braking. Uh, I think it's related to the follow distance and again that one and a half millisecond uh, play of it. It basically doesn't have any like buffer in terms of like when to smoothly slow down and smoothly speed up. It just wants to maintain the exact perfect uh, follow distance between me and this car which I mean is just not necessary. Like right now I would prefer it get up close and you know make room for anyone that who wants to turn left here. In fact, I'm gonna make sure that this person isn't turning. It looks like they're not. It's interesting, my right turn blinker is off now. I wonder, I still wonder why it prefers to turn right there instead of going straight and taking power. Because it's just so much easier and yeah. safer. It's a good point. So uh, what Adele is saying is basically, uh, 
in front of us is uh, the high angle turns video where we can you know we can go straight on the parrot there but it still chooses to take this right and uh, and then you know take the turn into the intersection okay that person is nowhere near us and yay for no you know collision with a person but that person was nowhere near us to bump up the speed and just hope that it will take this left into the into the neighborhood and it's, it's still so, just so it's, late. No, it's so late. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna pull us in here and send yet another snapshot. You know, I've been saying to everyone during Christmas drives that 10.8 has been the best. Uh, build yet and while I do still believe that in terms of You know the average drives um, I gotta say that my test loop has a, a lot of problems with it. This is one of those builds. That's uh, two steps forward one step back um, Here's hoping it gets better anyway, thanks for watching